So for this on water performance test of the Monterey, I decided I want to do things a little bit differently. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paddle the Nixie Newport. I have a video, on water performance video on that. I'll have it in the link. And then I'll be jumping right onto the Nixie Monterey. And I'm going to see what some of the differences are. I want to do it this way because as soon as I hop off the Nixie Newport, I have a fresh idea of exactly how it handles. And then as soon as I go onto the Monterey, then I'll have a much better basis of comparison. And I'm sure also a lot of you are comparing these two models and wondering what the differences are. So stay tuned. Welcome aboard the Nixie Newport. We're just gonna quickly test this out to get the feel of my normal board and then we're gonna test the Monterey. So now we are paddling around, so we're just gonna stand up and give this new part a go. Just kind of wobbling around a little bit just to make sure I feel the stability of it, yeah. the play of it. Pot around a little bit and then we'll get back on the way. Okay, welcome aboard the Nixie Monterey. So, this is my very first time trying it out. definitely you can feel the extra two inch width like it there's definitely less rocking compared to the Nixie Newport just on kneeling impressions here it also it feels more like a unit for sure so now let's try standing up on it oh yeah Yeah, wow, you can, it definitely feels like a lot more of a stiff board. First impressions on paddling this board, definitely does not feel as maneuverable as the Nixie Newport G4, but it feels like you're standing on more of a stable platform. Like I can actually feel the second bladder on my feet it does a little tilt on it where my feet are which not too bad i think it's fine it works well so for tracking let's just try it out so we're going to try see how many strokes we can do per one side so let's do it So about 10 strokes before I have to correct from these rocks here. And actually I should stay away from the rocks because it's a little bit shallower here. And now we're gonna try some slightly faster strokes on this to see how its speed is. So let's get going. So for a heavier board, this thing can actually kind of move. And one of the differences that I found with this versus the Newport, this one is actually, it's a little bit easier to lean onto one side to make that edge cut into the water a bit more. 
versus the new port because the board has a little more play you have to always kind of have the other foot ready to correct well this one i don't feel it as much you can lean to one side like i'm doing currently and it feels like it's fine and you can do the other side as well a bit of the lean all right let's test the maneuverability of the monterey so we're just going to try doing a sweep stroke Okay. Sweep stroke actually felt pretty good on this board. Um, obviously you do have to put a bit more effort into it because this board is a few pounds heavier and it is a foot longer. So longer boards, you will need to put a little more effort in the sweep strokes, but you know what? This is actually not too bad. I didn't feel like I had to do too much effort. And when I was doing it, it felt stable throughout. I didn't have any like kickbacks like that which is really good. So now let's just do some little side paddles, see how it goes. Oh yeah, it's turning pretty nicely actually. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the maneuverability on this board was going to be a little bit worse, but no, it's 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 good for a board of its size. Um, is it better than Newport maneuverability? No, definitely not. Just because, as I said, that extra foot length makes it a little bit more difficult to maneuver, but this board, it's really good. It definitely, exceeded my expectations on this. Out toward shore here. In case you guys are wondering, this is Nicomeco River. Turn around, you guys can kind of see the marina. If you've watched some of my videos, you probably noticed that I've been here a couple times before, it's just because it's a nice testing spot. It's a good shooting spot as well. It's not too, too many people here, which is Pretty nice, mostly locals. It's a nice little secret spot in South Surrey if you're in the, around the area. Okay, so now we are aboard for the Nipsey of Monterey. And for now we're just doing a little kayak paddle. Actually, this feels very nice to paddle, I'm not gonna lie. I got, to be honest, with first impressions here, it's actually tracking better than um, Pelican Kayak that I have, which is pretty funny. It was bought years and years and years ago, though, so I think kayak technology has improved. So, this is from the side cam angle. So as you can see, I'm sitting in the kayak seat right now. So moving back a bit. It's actually pretty nice. I'm used to doing this without a kayak seat, so the fact that you can actually lean back is super nice. So the impressions of the seat is that it's actually pretty comfortable. Although I will say I think iRocker designed theirs a little bit better because it has the four clips versus this just has the two. So this one just requires basically a lot of kind of sliding around to adjust. So you just slide the seat around to get the best adjustment and you're good. So I just wanted to show what each of the mounting points kind of looks like. So this is at the very front. This is the side mount. You can kind of see. 
This is the other side of the other front mount. So the third one, I'd classify this one as. This is closer to the middle. Specific mount there, so you can see kind of the angle of the board. You can see that's me. This is from another angle. This is the rear angle mount. And the other one is right next to it, so I think it's a little bit redundant. To... This is the rear view mount. So opposite side. I like how I'm adjusting this right on the water. It's like that Austin Powers mem. I too like to live dangerously as I'm screwing in my new phone. And then finally, this is the view from the front. Right, I'm paddling. Kind of see a little bit. So what are my impressions of the kayak setup? I like it. Like I feel pretty comfortable just leaning back, paddling here. The seat is a very comfortable, I must say. I really like the way Nixie designed the seat. Very cushiony. Feels nice on my back as well. Um, I'll have to report when I do this for a longer time period, but right now it feels really nice. I like the kayak paddle attachment. Like this feels really cool motion when I'm doing just paddling on a paddleboard. And in terms of tracking in the kayak setup, the Monterey is actually like a really good board for this. It's nice and wide and stable. It's like you're on a giant platform, but you're paddling and it tracks very well. It doesn't, it doesn't fishtail very much at all. I think it tracks better than a lot of recreational kayaks actually thanks to its fin setup. One thing I wanted to note that if you're a bit of a bigger guy or gal and you're just starting out paddle boarding and you're not too sure which paddle board to really get, I'd say look for something a little bit longer. In this case, the 11 foot 6 inch of the Monterey does the job very well, like feel supremely stable on the board. And also you should look for something that has a little bit of a wider width. Now a lot of inflatable paddle boards, they'll be between 30 to like 32 inches wide. But if you're a balance challenge, like I was, I used to be terrible at the balance beams when I was a kid. Um, you should be looking for something 33, 34 inches, even 35 inches. That will really help you get that extra confidence in the water as you're standing on it. So what are my on-water impressions of the Nixie Monterey? Pretty good, I really like it actually. The board just feels very rigid. Like that extra bladder in the middle, you can definitely feel the rigidity, like even when you bounce on it, it definitely feels stiffer than the Newport for sure. So in terms of stability, standing on this thing, no problem at all. There is absolutely zero kickback. Um, I'm standing on it now, I can kind of do this while I'm paddling. My cell phone is there, so I don't want to do that too much. But yeah, the stability of this board is very impressive. And I like the fact that you could lean into the strokes a little bit more without having the kickback that the Newport has whenever you're leaning it onto its side to make it track a little bit better. Maneuverability wise, I was actually very impressed. For a long board, this did really well. Um, tracking wise, I would say it's it tracks very well. It took about 10, 11 strokes before I had to really correct versus when I was shooting the other day, the iRocker all around 11 Ultra. That was about six strokes, but that's also because I, I feel it's because of the all around 11's fin setup. It has two center fins instead of the three fin setup. And I feel like the three fin setup will give you a little bit better tracking. So overall, great board. Highly recommend it.